You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Real quick, guys, before we actually dive into the video today, I meant to actually put this in the video, but um, we have a new shirt in the merch store. You can support us. You can get your donkey pot shirt. The disease that is destroying America. We're talking about the Democrat Party here. You can get it in uh, multiple colors. And you can also get 25% off by using the discount code USA first. I actually like this uh, army green color right here. You can actually get a better look at it right there. 25% off guys. If you use the discount code USA first, I got to tell you guys, this still just baffles my mind that there is any type of talk of actually trading a known terrorist like Victor Bout, the merchant of death for a WNBA player that um, hates his country. It still baffles my mind. If this deal actually does go through, folks, I said it before, it just shows you how weak we've actually become as a nation. Now, Rose did a video yesterday talking about Russia wants somebody else that we don't even have in custody. This particular person, I uh, can't remember the name off the top of my head, is actually in Germany. And that the U.S. actually reached out to Germany to see if they would actually be willing to let this person go. A convicted murderer. In addition to Victor Bout, this is insane. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Now, one thing I have been wondering ever since we actually heard about this alleged deal, alleged offer, I should say, because Russia said there is no deal. I've been wondering what has President Trump actually been thinking about this now? It's probably pretty obvious that he is not on board with trading uh, Victor Bout for Bernie Grant at all. Well, he was actually on with uh, Clay Travis and Buck Sexton, and he weighed in yesterday. So let's go over here to Outkick. Trump on potential Griner prisoner swap for arms dealer doesn't seem like a very good trade. Yeah. Now, if this was actually a sports trade, since this is a sports channel, this would actually probably go down as one of the worst trades in sports history. But uh, let's listen to a portion of. Of the clip here from the uh, Buck and um, Clan Buck show, and they were actually interviewing uh, President Trump on uh, multiple things. But um, Buck actually asked um, President Trump about Brit Brittany Griner. So let's go ahead and play this part. Would you have made, by the way, the offer for Brittany Griner and Victor Bout that Russia has put forward, where they'll trade this arms dealer's 25 years for arms dealing all over the world for the WNBA player and also a uh, I believe a former Marine is being held there. She went in there, loaded up with drugs into a hostile territory where they're very vigilant about drugs. They don't like drugs. And she got caught. And now we're supposed to get her out. And she makes a, you know, a lot of money, I guess. But we're supposed to get her out for a absolute killer and one of the biggest arms dealers in the world. Killed many Americans, killed many people. And he's going to get a free card and... We're going to get her. She knew you don't go in there loaded up with drugs. And she admitted it. I assume she admitted it without too much force because it is what it is. And it certainly doesn't seem like a very good trade, does it? He's an absolute one of the worst in the world. And he's going to be given his freedom because a potentially spoiled person goes into Russia loaded up with drugs. And what do you think of Zelensky doing? Yeah, so there you have it. That is President Trump weighing in right there. Uh, he called Brittany Griner spoiled. Yeah, obviously she is. Now, she is. She had to know the rules over there in Russia. She's been playing there for seven years. She had to know that. And giving up a dangerous man like Victor Bout, man, folks, I believe that a lot of things would have happened but actually it'd be different, I should say, if uh, President Trump was still in office. I don't think that Brittany Griner would actually be locked up right now in Russia. But, you know, she wanted to vote for Joe Biden. And there's a whole bunch of things that, that would actually be different right now if uh, President Trump would still be in office. But there's other things that are pretty much irrelevant right now um, to this particular topic here. 
But um, this is not surprising, you know. President Trump called uh, Brittany Grind a spoiled. He said it's um, it's a bad trade, and it is. It's a complete bad trade. But you know what? I believe that Russia has so little respect for uh, Joe Biden that they're probably just going to continue to ask for more and more and more. Because I was actually pretty shocked when Rhodes actually told me that, um, hey, I got another video coming on uh, Brittany Griner. Uh, the Russians actually want more. I'm like, what? Really? So did um, the U.S. just kind of lay everything out and say, hey, right from the beginning, hey, you guys want Vit the Bout? We're going to give them to you right from the beginning. Did they, did they just play all of their cards right there? And now Russia's like, you know what? You guys offer that. We want a little bit more. We want something, you know, to kind of um, wet our beak. Remember uh, Godfather 2, Don Finici? Uh, great movie, by the way. One of the all-time greats. Don Finici said, just a little something to wet my beak. That's probably what uh, Russia is probably was saying to uh, to the Biden administration, man. I have no confidence whatsoever in um, in Joe Biden and his administ- administration. Word is that still it'll probably take uh, months before the whole thing actually gets resolved on a prisoner swap. But folks, if the merchant of death and a murderer is actually involved in um, a prisoner swap for a WNBA player, this is going to be a very, very bad look for this country. A very bad look. Man, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.